uh, in my high school days, uh, I, I didn't find the physics that I was taught very interesting. Uh, I was I was better at mathematics and chemistry amongst the scientific subjects, and. Uh, I, I, I was quite enthusiastic about chemistry, understanding the structure of matter at the molecular level, and um, gradually I, I, I came to know that there were deeper levels and that, that these, these were classified as, as physics and there was an interesting thing, there were interesting things to, to do in theoretical physics there. One of the influences on me was probably uh, a former uh, pupil at the same school of, of about a quarter, quarter of a century earlier, uh, Paul Dirac, who was one of the founding fathers of, of quantum mechanics in the mid-1920s. And uh, I was curious about what he'd done because his name appeared frequently uh, on the uh, roll call of uh, the achievements of former pupils. <laughs> I, I was cu curi curious, and, and that came, to, that led me to, to, to read about uh, atomic physics and quantum theory uh, before I was ever taught them. <laughs> well, the only, the only other thing, perhaps, to add about the influences in, in my um, days at high school was that at the end of my time there, um, it, it, it was very soon after the end of the war and, and the uh, uh, dropping of the bombs on Japan. Uh, and I, I went to some public lectures in the University of Bristol, organised by the two professors of physics, one theoretician and one experimentalist. Uh, these were lectures for the public to tell them what, what was the background of, of, of these, these, the development of these bombs. And um, it was a great success, uh, the series of lectures. And the, the experimental physicist was Cecil Powell, who worked in experimental particle physics. In those days, it involved sending packages of photographic emulsion up into the upper atmosphere with the help of balloons. And um, he decided to give some lectures about his own work, which I then went to, and I learnt uh, from him a lot about the current state of experiment in particle physics and that helped me to see what I wanted to do.